Hey everybody, it's Catherine with another MyCom tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to record your screen on a Mac. Okay, so recording your screen can really come in handy in a lot of different situations. Maybe you want to grab a clip from a video that you're watching to use as an example in a presentation, um, or to turn into a GIF or a GIF, whichever one it is. Uh, or maybe you want to uh, show how to navigate somewhere on a website for a website launch video, or just show how to get somewhere on a computer, like on your computer, um, and it's easier to do a video than to write out instructions. Um, or maybe you want to record a FaceTime phone call for your digital scrapbook. Whatever the case is, uh, recording on a screen, recording your screen on a Mac is super easy, and I'm going to show you how. The way that I'm going to show you uses things that are already on your computer. So it's native to Mac operating systems. You don't have to download anything. Um, but having said that, there are some third-party apps that you can download and pay for if you'd like. Uh, those usually come with like a higher resolution screen record, uh, some more options for editing, um, and like maybe some templates with graphics and stuff. So if that is something that you think you could use, um, feel free to look those up. I'm not going to recommend any because I've never actually used any of them and I've never needed anything more than what's already on the computer. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so let's try this. Um, it's gonna might be a little shaky because I'm, I can't record my screen while I'm showing you how to record your screen. So uh, as I said, everything you need is already on your device. Um, the only thing that'll be different is uh, the operating system that you have. So if you have Mojave or later, so Mojave, Catalina, or Big Sur, then you'll be using Screenshot. If you have anything before Mojave, like High Sierra, Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, um, Mavericks, then you will be using QuickTime. They're exactly the same thing, uh, they just change the workflow of it after during the Mojave upgrade. So first, and if you aren't sure which type you have, you can go up here to the top left corner to the Apple icon, click that and go to about this Mac. <gasps> Catalina, so I have Catalina, so I'm gonna do that version first, but um, just see which one you have and that'll help you know which one to do. Um, okay, so let's say that I am going to, that I wanna make a video of my screen showing you how to find your operating system. <laughs> Uh, so what you would do if you have for this first way is you are going to press command shift five. And as you see a little toolbar pox, pops up. So on that toolbar, so this is what screenshot is called. And you see my mouse is now a camera. So if I were to click right now, it would just automatically start recording my whole screen. Um, but I'll show you what all these little things are capture. On this left side of the toolbar, these are all for the photo, um, for photo screens. Uh, so capture entire screen, select capture selected window, capture selected portion. All of these you can also do by a hotkey. So command shift four is uh, capture selected portion. Command shift three is capture your whole screen. So. Um, you can do those easily. And for this, we're not really interested in that. We're actually interested in the second section, which is for video. So these icons record entire screen, record selected portion. So that's what the selected portion is, is if you just wanted to, if, you, if I didn't want to have all those folders in there and I just wanted to get something right in the middle of my screen, um, or if there was a video playing and I just wanted to get that video portion of the screen, um, then I could turn that part on. So, um, but for this, I'm gonna just go ahead and do record entire screen. And then there are some options right here. The options are pretty straightforward. Um, you have save to, so you can choose where you want to save your screen recording video. You have timer, which is you can uh, select a five or 10 second countdown timer. Uh, so if you want to, if you need to like close out some windows right before you start, you could put that on and it won't start recording till afterwards. But I don't really think it matters because you can also, I'll show you how right after you record, you can trim your clip uh, right in the window. So I would just not even worry about that. 
Um, that's my personal <laughs> workflow would just be don't worry about that and just trim the clip once you're done with it because you don't want to, because you may have to do that anyways. Um, microphone, so this would just be, because you can record audio with the video. So if you're showing someone how to demo something like I'm about to do, I'm gonna be talking while I'm doing it and uh, it's gonna record my voice, but it's gonna record it through the built-in microphone. So as far as like a relying on that for like a professional video, I would not. I would still, I would use, if you're gonna be editing this together with other stuff, then just record your audio how you would with the other stuff. Don't rely on the built-in microphone for your laptop, but you'll hear how it sounds. It's fine for like, if you're sending something to a friend or a family member or something, but, um, but yeah, and if in the sound flower, that's if you have like a third party or a separate device for recording, like I guess if you have like a microphone or speakers, I'm not really sure. Um, okay, and then options, show floating thumbnail. Yes, keep that on. I'll show you why once we're done. That's how you're gonna be able to edit your recording immediately. Remember last selection, that just means remember the last settings that you have, and then show mouse clicks. Um, that, those don't ever really show up that great, but um, that's for if you're clicking on stuff, it shows you where the mouse is clicking. Uh, you can see what it looks like, but it's not that effective, I don't think, on here, but um, but yeah, it's still useful to have. So those are all ready, and then we have record button right here, so let's go ahead and record. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to find your operating system. Go up to the top left corner, click the Apple icon, about this Mac, Catalina, come on down. <laughs> okay, so now I'm done with that recording. So in order to stop the recording, if you have the touch bar, you can press stop right there on your computer. If you don't have touch bar, then all you do is, to do, is do the same keystroke, command, shift, five. It's gonna come back up. You'll find the toolbar, find that stop recording, and done. Okay, and then down here, right here, it's a little dark, but you can see it, that's the floating thumbnail. So we're gonna click on that, and that is my video right there. So I'm gonna play it, and you can hear what the audio sounded like um, coming through the speakers, and you'll see what the screen recording looks like. So I'm gonna show you how to find your operating system. Go up to the top left corner, click the Apple icon about this Mac, Catalina, come on down. Okay, and you see, you may have seen the, um, let me show you again, the little, the way that it looks when you click on stuff, the mouse clicks, you see that circle? It's kind of hard to see on here, but that's what that mouse click thing looks like. Okay, so as you can see, there's so much left over, and also, did you hear how terrible the audio was? Yeah, so um, just, that, just keep that in mind when you're uh, making these videos. It's a pretty um, rough audio track and it's really just for reference. It shouldn't be used as like to enchant an audience or anything. Um, it's pretty informal. Okay, so, um, so as you see, there's quite a bit of extra video on the end and I kinda wanna get rid of that now because I don't wanna have to deal with it later. So up here at the very top of the window, there's the share button, the trash button, the done button, and then this little button right here, which is like a, kind of looks like a little candy wrapper. <laughs> uh, it's a square with triangles on the edge, and that is the trim button. So when I click that, it turns the progress bar into a timeline. It's outlined in yellow, and so that means that I can now trim it from start, I can trim the beginning or the end. So I have that little red line right there. It's gonna go away once I click on it, but um, I'll just try to remember that's where it is. I'm gonna drag this all the way. Oops. Um, okay, and that looks like about where it was. All right, and so now I'm done. So now I'm ready to click done. If I can get it. <laughs> and my screen recording has just shown up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and name it right now because I know I'll forget later. So let's do how to operating system. And I'm done. So that is for Catalina Mojave 
and Big Sur operating systems. Now, if you have anything earlier than that, what you're gonna do is go to your finder, go to your applications, and scroll down to QuickTime. All these are in alphabetical order, so find the Q. QuickTime, okay, so now QuickTime is open, very discreetly, and um, what we're gonna do is go to File, and you'll see new movie recording, new audio recording, new screen recording. Sorry, it's a little blurry because of this, whatever. Um, new movie recording, that's if you wanted to like uh, record your webcam. New audio recording, if you ever need an audio recorder, you can plug a mic into your laptop and use QuickTime to record your audio. And then new screen recording. So like on here, it's not gonna show you what you would actually have on here, it just opens screenshot. So that's what I'm saying when it's like the same, like that it's the exact same thing, it's just a different workflow. So I'll show you, when you do it on yours, uh, if you don't, if you're using High Sierra or uh, younger, older, High Sierra or young, older, <laughs> um, you'll click new screen recording and it'll pop up a little thing like this. It won't say audio recording, it'll say screen recording. And um, you'll have the options right here You'll choose your microphone and then you can also choose, I think there's another option on there. I can't remember what it is though. Um, and then when you press record for that, you'll then have the option to dr like click and drag if you wanted to do a selected portion or you just click in the middle of the screen and that'll do your whole screen and it'll start recording. And when you start recording, this box will go away. And in order to stop recording, you'll go down here to the dock where QuickTime shows up and you'll do control click or right click and stop recording. It'll be on there and it'll say stop recording. So um, that is what you'll do if you have an older operating system. And then you'll once you stop recording, you'll click save and you can save it the exact same way, however you'd like. And then now that you have that, you have a video that you can drop into an editing system or editing software or um, just use a meet like as is, if you did everything perfectly and then um, you're good to go. And that's screen recording.